Dallas, Texas, the Big D. While the city itself actually trails Houston and San Antonio in population, Dallas is the center of a vast urban metropolitan area known as the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Covering 13 counties in North Texas, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is now home to over 7.2 million people, making it the fourth largest metropolitan area in the United States. The Dallas-Fort Worth economy is a powerhouse. It boasts 22 Fortune 500 companies, major corporations, including ExxonMobil, AT&T, Southwest, and American Airlines. It's a tier one convention city. The gigantic K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center now covers two million square feet, with over one million square feet of exhibition space. One of the city's five mega hotels, the Hyatt Hotel, is attached to Reunion Tower, whose globe-shaped observation deck is one of the most recognizable features of the Dallas skyline. Dallas-Fort Worth is home to some major tourist attractions, like the John F. Kennedy Memorial, located a block from Dealey Plaza, where President Kennedy was assassinated in 1963. Major cultural attractions in Dallas-Fort Worth include a thriving arts district in downtown Dallas, home to the Dallas Museum of Art, Meyerson Symphony Center, and Windspear Opera House. Adjacent to downtown is the Deep Ellum neighborhood, one of the oldest in Dallas, which is home to numerous arts and entertainment venues. But where the Dallas-Fort Worth area truly stands apart is in the realm of spectator sports. Indeed, the Metroplex can lay claim to being the sports capital of the United States. Just outside the core downtown area lies the American Airlines Center. The American Airlines Center is home to the NBA's Dallas Mavericks and the NHL's Dallas Stars. The $400 million arena's construction revitalized the Victory Park area of the city, now one of the most desirable parts of town. The real center of gravity for sports, though, is in the city of Arlington, located midway between Dallas and Fort Worth. Arlington first came to prominence when it became home to the Six Flags Over Texas Amusement Park in 1961, the first Six Flags amusement park to open and the largest in Texas today. Since the early 1970s, though, Arlington has been inextricably linked with professional sports in North Texas. Originally playing at Ranger Stadium in Arlington, the team moved to what is now called Global Life Park in 1994, following the sale of the team to a group led by former President George W. Bush in 1989. The ballpark cost of $190 million hosted the Major League Baseball All-Star Game in 1995 and the World Series in both 2010 and 2011. If there is a single sports venue that can be said to sit at the center of the United States sports world, Dallas Cowboys AT&T Stadium has as good a claim as any. AT&T Stadium is a modern marvel. With a construction price tag of about $1.5 billion in current dollars, it is the most expensive stadium construction project in history. Nicknamed the Death Star, the stadium features a massive retractable roof and at the time built the largest high-definition screen in the world. And in 2018, AT&T hosts the National Football League draft, only the fourth draft in the modern era held outside of New York and the first to occur in the Sun Belt. Attendance over the draft weekend is expected to easily top the 250,000 record set for the 2017 draft in Philadelphia. In recent years, the Dallas-Fort Worth area has consistently been the fastest growing major metropolitan area in the United States. Not coincidentally, this has occurred during a time when the Metroplex achieved its stunning ascendancy to the unofficial sports capital of America. Dallas, a great modern city powered by sports.